when you're ever oh wow <laughs> that's how you start a video by just misspeaking so dumb i'm gonna include that in who cares <clears throat> whenever you get into a nonsensical argument with a vegan case in point is a man who had been adrift out to sea for 16 months according to him however there was plenty of evidence to back up his journey Yet he survived 16 months on turtles, birds, and fish. So what he would do is he would catch the turtles. And it's recommended as far as a survival tactic because there's sea turtles, as it says here, are slow-moving animals. And you can easily catch them, either by snagging them with hooks or gaffs, hooked poles, or by catching them with your hands. And then above it, it says, to get water intake, you can also safely drink turtle's blood to save your life. This method has saved many castaways. Did you hear that? Many castaways. Technically, the blood has protein in it, so it would seem to violate one of our rules of water con conservation. But because this last-ditch source of liquid has saved so many, including friends of ours, we don't hesitate recommending it. So... It, I, I, it's just so illogical to think when you argue with a vegan because they are uh, essentially mentally ill. It's an illness because there's never been a moment throughout history where someone said, I don't want to kill that animal because it violates my ethics. The very state of being of all these vegans, from the places they live, to the cars they drive, to the clothes they wear, has killed animals. But here you have it. You know what this guy did not live on? He did not live on magical fruit or magical vegetables that grew on his boat while he was stranded at sea. No, he lived on animals. He also collected some rainwater, but he did not have it for a majority of the time because I mean he's surrounded by uh, salt water but yet he survived and this has been documented many times so there you have it eat animals save your life cheers